does ChatGPT and DeepSeek store my data? And Meta, Meta recently released some AI chats on WhatsApp. What about privacy? I have not talked about DeepSeek yet. A lot of people have asked about DeepSeek, AI tools. I do not really care about who's collecting your data. You're going to see a lot of talk of this is a Chinese platform, this is a Russian platform, this is a US platform. It doesn't matter. If they're collecting your data, they're collecting your data. Data is shared globally. There are data sharing agreements between pretty much every country in the world. And on top of that, there are hacks everywhere. These countries willingly share data with other companies. Everybody just steals each other's data. So it doesn't matter, you know, if, if Meta's collecting your data and it's going to a US company, we all know Meta shares this data with other companies and a lot of them don't just exist in the US. So when it goes to a third party data broker, that third party data broker can sell it to another Chinese company. It, there's always something that can happen downstream. So I wanna start off by saying right away, I have no additional issue with DeepSeek just because it's Chinese. And I think anybody who tries to label data collection as good or bad based on a country is not correct in the way they're thinking about it. And I would actually argue is, it's just not the way to look at it at all. The way to look at it is what data is a company collecting and how are they handling that data? And the short of it is most of these AI companies are not transparent whatsoever with what they're doing with your data. They're not transparent about what your data is used for. They're not transparent about how these LLMs are even created and what data they use to create these LLMs. There is this huge mask uh, around these, this entire industry. So the best that we can do right now is use local, offline, open source chat clients. Again, I am not sponsored by Jan AI. There are a few other services similar to Jan, but I think Jan is a perfect example of what everyone should try to strive to use. First, it's open source. The software is open source, but also it uses open source AI models. Now, some of those are Meta's AI models and other ones that are not so great, but this is, you know, we're trying to do the best we can do with what we have. It's also offline. So what you do is you download the open source model on your computer. You can put your computer on airplane mode and you can go ahead and type away. Super cool stuff. I've been using this and I think it's fantastic. And I think we need to be using more things like this. And recently, um, I already mentioned this earlier, but you can even uh, upload like documents. I, I say upload, that's not correct because there is no internet connection that Jan and I makes when it's trying to do a connection request. The only internet connection is downloading um, the AI model, that is all. So um, again, I like Jan AI, I've been using Jan AI, I think it's fantastic. It's cross-platform, so you can use it on Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. With that said, um, there are probably lots of other similar tools out there similar to it. And I think that's what you need to be chasing after if you want AI and privacy to exist in the same sentence. Funny enough, yeah, just like their website, AI and privacy. There you go. This clip came from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights and how to keep yourself and the people around you safe online, as well as just reclaiming a little bit more ownership. If you enjoy this content, a lot more nuance, and want a little bit more of a deep dive, check out our main